What's up guys, it's Raf in the Raf Cave. Welcome back to another video. Now this here is a projector that was sent to me to show you guys what a great value a $100 projector can give you. Uh, this is sent from Vanco. It's called Leisure 410 Projector. This is a 1080p projector. Simple, small, convenient. It's got HDMI, VGA, USB, composite, headphone jack, built-in speaker, puts out 100 inch screen or more, decent brightness right here. Let's check it out guys. You know I love home theater and I love projectors. I got one myself. Let's set this up, see what's inside, put it on the screen and see if it's worth your time for a hundred bucks. That's not bad if you want something to throw on your wall, whether it be a kid's party, you know, kids wanna play games, you just wanna see a big screen action in your garage or something like that. Who knows man, this thing is portable, easy to take with you, throw it up and see what it gives us, right? All right, guys, without further ado, let's get it unboxed, see what's inside, and get it plugged in and get cooking. All right, guys, let's get it. All right, guys, here's the box. Pretty simple. Pretty much the same thing on all sides. Sorry, guys, no black pin. Pop her open. Carrying case. Nice. All right. Vanco. Carrying case, zipper, all good. All right. Okay, okay. Couple of straps for security here. All right, we got all the instruction manuals inside the sleeve here. Manuals, startup guides. Put that in there. Couple of nice Velcro straps. Even get a nice little tripod here. How about that? Very cool. Put that on any surface there. Nice. What the cables we got? So we got the power cord. We got the composite old school connection. We have an HDMI cable, probably about three and a half to four feet long. Got a remote control. It's kind of handy. Pretty simple remote here. Power up, down, left, right. Volume for the speaker built inside. There we are. Nice little eye there. Venko built in speaker. Air vent. Got your uh, keystone control there. HDMI, IR blaster. AV input, headphone jack. This will be your TV composite connection. VGA, USB, SD card slot, power, another vent. And on the top, you have your standard controls. Your power, your your exit, your menu, up, down, left, right, okay. And there's your focus ring. All right, let's get it put on the tripod on the table and see what we got. All right, guys, we got it hooked up on the temporary table here with an HDMI cable hooked up. And on the bottom, there's a little, uh, uh, little lifter. So you just kind of raise up the projector to make it fit on your screen. So what we have here is... I'd say close to 100 inches, and we're probably going to be back about, uh, I'd say about 10 to 12 feet. Now, there's no zooming feature on this projector, so you got to physically move it back and forth uh, to fit your screen. Uh, there is a focus, a focus lever on top. Focus, and on the back is your keystone. And then it's got the built-in speaker there. So what we have right now is Xbox. And it's got a little speaker built in, so that's your audio. But you can hook up um, a 3.5 millimeter jack to it if you want to get us some external speakers. So let's play a couple, uh, like some TV or something, maybe a movie, and then play a game and see uh, see how it goes. Now I'm going to turn the lights off in the basement. The projector isn't completely bright, um, but if you have a dark room, that would help. Uh, the remote control is here. And just turning on the settings, we have picture mode standard. Let's see what we got here. Picture mode, We've got soft, user, vivid, standard. Well, vivid's going to get the most uh, brightness out of it. Uh, what else do we got here? Color temperatures at medium, cool, user, warm. We go warm. Acid ratio 16 by 9. 
You can also do a 4x3, auto, zoom in, or just scan. So I'm just going to do auto. Uh, noise reduction. Turn that off. Uh, what else we got? HDMI mode, PC, or AV. Let's go AV, keep it safe. Uh, reduce image size. Nope, we don't want to do that. We want to keep it 100%. But I guess right there you could reduce it. Look at that, 75. So you have you have a little bit of a zoom, about four different steps of zooming to, to get smaller. Uh, what else we got here? And projection mode is front. Yep. I'm sure you can go upside down if you wanted to ceiling mount it. Uh, what else we got? We got the sound. Uh, we got the uh, timer, sleep timer. Got language there. Menu screen. Software update with USB if it's available. All right, so there's your menu settings. Let's uh, show some footage. All right, be right back. All right, guys, so here's regular TV. We've got the built-in speaker going. Turn that down a little bit. So there is TV, regular TV right there. Now the camera probably blooms up the contrast a little bit. Uh, but you can definitely see a picture. Uh, it's it's 1080p. It's got color, a lot of contrast, but it does the job. I mean, if you want to throw a picture on the wall, I mean, for 100 bucks, it's not bad, guys. It looks pretty decent. All right, let's switch on to uh, a movie. See what that looks like. Be right back. All right, guys. This is the night comes for us. This is a movie off of Plex. This is 1080p, 24 frames a second. Looks good. That guy right there is going to be our future Sub-Zero in Mortal Kombat movie. Hope he does well. I'm sure he will. Uh, but yeah, movies uh, play fine. You know, there it is. A movie playing. Not bad at all. So all I say is, guys, it's a little dim. So, But if you have a dark room, you can see a picture on the wall. It's fun. It's not expensive. It does the job. All right? So that's not bad. Now let's play some video games and see what that looks like. All right, guys, we're playing some Gears 5 Xbox One S 1080p, 60 frames a second on this projector. Now, one thing I noticed is the focus. So you can focus the center of the screen, but then the top and bottom are, are kind of fuzzy. So it doesn't have the complete screen as, as in focus. So just be aware of that. All right, here we are. Gears 5. The lag's not bad. Very responsive. So video games are definitely playable on here. Got one of them. Yeah, pretty fun. I mean, you just throw a video game on the wall, start playing. Got a bunch of kids. They're not going to complain. They're going to like this. For 100 bucks, not bad. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Video games on a $100 projector works. Pretty cool. All right, guys, let's finish up the video. All right, guys, well, I have my time with the projector for a hundred bucks. This is a pretty good deal, guys. I mean, if you just want to get something you can throw on the wall for your kids, have a little party, just have some, some buddies over for a sports game on the, on the big screen or whatnot, just hook it up, put your fire stick in it or any kind of device into it with HDMI, throw it on the screen, you're good to go, man. This is not bad at all. Well, I'm going to thank the company that sent this to me. I'm happy to show it to you guys. I'll leave it a link in the description below if you want to check this out for yourself. Otherwise, thanks for watching, guys. Home theater rules. 
Take care, guys. Wrath out. See ya. Thank you.